staining pine, sometimes it can be blotchy after you stain it. And that's just the way pine is. If you put this pre-stained conditioner on it, it keeps it from being blotchy. Just let it soak in for about 30 minutes and then you can apply your stain over the top of it. I put this on with a foam brush because foam brushes are cheap and you can throw them away afterwards. And then you don't have to spend time cleaning a brush out. You want to make sure you stir your stain because if you let the stain sit for a while, the pigment color settles to the bottom. And then if you start painting with it, it's going to be a different color than what it's supposed to be. Ask me how I know. This is early American. This is what the customer wanted. So this is what we're going to do. I like this stain. It's a good looking stain. I usually put this on with a foam brush and then wipe it with a rag but I had this brush, so I thought it would go faster. So I'm gonna try it. I usually let my stain sit for about 15 minutes before I wipe it down. And that usually gives it a pretty good color. You just wanna go back and forth with even brush strokes. Before you ever start staining, you want to sand it down to about 220, especially on tabletops, get them smooth. I start out with 80 grit, sand it down, then I use a blower to blow the sand or the dust off, wipe it with a rag, then I go to either 120 or 150, then I do the same thing, sand it down, wipe it off, and then I go to 220. And that usually gets a pretty smooth surface. I don't like staining because it takes a long time. The prep work is just a ridiculous amount of time, especially if you have to put the pre-stain conditioner on. I'd rather just paint because I can put the paint on a sprayer and spray it and be done with it. Stain looks good, but I don't know, it just takes a long time. I'd rather be doing something else. <laughs>